Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome to Mama From Scratch. Today I'm sharing with you 20 fall decorating ideas that you can use to decorate your home for this fall season. I am sharing with you the entryway, dining room, living room, coffee table, mantle, lots of different decorating ideas, and you can see how my style has changed over the years since this is a compilation of fall decorating ideas. So hopefully you get lots of ideas from it and enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up if you do and share it with your friends. This sign came from Kirkland's and then the pumpkin pillow came from Home Goods and the pew is something I made as well as the window frame. I like using faux florals um, if I can because you can bend the stems, but this stuff is just so gorgeous. But I am going to be using this um, in the living room, so I can't use a ton of it for in the dining room. But um, it definitely breaks pretty easily and it's a bit messy. Um, so you'll have to vacuum, but you can find this stuff in bundles at the stores and you could just undo the bundle if you wanted to, but I love the coloring on this. This is just beautiful. So I think what I'm going to do is add this in here. And kind of fan that out a bit. I love these tins, but they do have take a lot of filler to make them look good. Now I do have these cotton stems. These are from Hobby Lobby and these are from Kirkland's a few years ago. Let's add these in here. These are just some faux wheat I found at Hobby Lobby. I did take off my shutters over here, but I think I'm going to add them just for that little pop of black in the kitchen because there's a lot of white in here. This will be fun. Try different things. Rearrange. Try again. Have fun with it. Decorate your home the way you want it to be. I never felt this is going on an interior door. I didn't want to scratch my paint, so I'm just taking some scrap material that I have, just cutting it down, and then I'm just going to glue it around the back of the wreath. And don't worry, it doesn't show when it's all done, I promise. Um, but that's just a little trick that you can do if you have some felt or something like that, soft material. That way it doesn't scratch whatever surface you're putting it on. Especially if you're outside and you have a painted door or something, it could really scratch your surface if it's windy. So just keep that in mind. Hopefully this is a little helpful tip for you. But I just glued that down. Nothing too fancy here. You could see that I'm just trimming off the excess on it. But I like these wreaths. You can pick them up at Walmart for a couple bucks. Hobby Lobby has them usually for four or five bucks. So I'm just going to intertwine the eucalyptus in here. And I actually needed three of them, but you know, I had two, so we're going to make it work. I pulled off all of the stems, um, sorry, off all the floral picks off of the stems. That way I could reuse the stems later on. And I'm intermixing these. The pink hydrangeas actually came from the at home store. And then this wheat came from Hobby Lobby last year. And it's like a dollar fifty when it's on sale, so not too bad. But I love how real it is and I love the coloring of it. So I just decided to alternate between um, the uh, sunflower, the hydrangea, and then add a wheat pick in there. And then you'll see I'll add in a little bit of greenery at the end, just around the edges that don't have the eucalyptus. And in the end, it looks really good. I actually changed it. You're going to see what it looks like in this video, but for the fall home tour, I changed it. So something to look forward to on that. Um, I constantly change my mind and that's just fun. I think it's just the creative side of me that's like, oh, let's try this and let's try that. But this is a super easy wreath to make yourself. I actually added in a couple cotton stems in here. Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow back flowers and then hot glue the dark fuchsia peonies into the air into the same spot and I used four of them and the peony sprigs come with five flowers for 97 cents at Walmart so really inexpensive to make your own wreath the eucalyptus is Walmart this is Hobby Lobby this is at home this is just some cotton sprigs you can get at Dollar Tree or at Hobby Lobby I bought 
this one two years ago now. And then I wanted another one for in here. I thought that they would look really good in these tins that I got also from Hobby Lobby. They're $5 when they're 50% off, so a really good price. And they are wired, so you can just kind of fan them out the way you just want them to look. And they are a little bit long for in here, so all I'm gonna do is just shorten that stem. wanted to go for here in the entryway was definitely a little bit more rustic on more on the woodsy side but just a little hint of coloring and that copper and the gold and a little bit of that burnt orange coloring kind of coming out. If you saw my fall decor haul then you would have seen this pillow is actually from Kirkland's and I thought this would be perfect because I really like that rusty color that's in there and I really would like to find this kind of um, brown brown and orange plaid at the fabric store and then make some fabric pumpkins which I think that would be really pretty. So I need to go to the fabric store for that. $12 on sale, I'll have it linked below. And then this was my spring wreath and I just went ahead and took everything off of it. And I'm just um, sliding in the hydrangeas. And then my pine cones weren't wired so I just went ahead and glued those down. And I'm using about five of each thing in here. Um, this is quite a large grapevine wreath. If it was a little bit small, you don't need quite as much. And then I'm using these like white uh, daisy dahlia things here. Um, and putting those right next to the pine cones so that has a pop of color there. I really like it. It's just that, that coloring that they chose for that is so pretty. And all of these are Dollar Tree florals. I just um, cut them off of the stem. So basically each bushel that you'll get from the Dollar Tree has usually five or six stems on it. So if you buy one of each of these, you'll be just fine. And these are some greens that I'm using and um, also from the wheat that you can buy there. And then I went ahead and put in the eucalyptus they have. They have a couple different colors of this in right now as well. And I'm just kind of spacing that out. I needed a little bit of green, but not a deep green. I really wanted it to be, you know, a little bit more muted. And then I'm adding um, some berries and then um, gluing on some of the pumpkins as well as just sliding the other ones in because they were picked. And um, I have some gold leaves left over some for some other DIYs that I did last year. You can just spray paint the leaves, it goes really easily. And then this is actually wheat from Hobby Lobby. I got that in my fall haul as well and I don't like cutting it but I thought this was the perfect shade of yellow and the creaminess of it was just, it's just what I was looking for for the wreath. And so I just cut off a few bits of that and placed that in different areas as well and then I took a couple of fall leaves just to add a little bit of that yellow orange color as well in there. Um, again, this is a large wreath so I was trying to fill it up. The two little small white pumpkins were actually from Hobby Lobby. I got them for like, I don't know, 59 cents a piece. And then this white um, stem stuff is actually from my spring wreath and Dollar Tree does carry it. I used that in another wreath DIY and I thought it looked really good on this wreath as well. This is the finished wreath, isn't it beautiful? I feel like I need to go get a couple more um, pumpkins so I don't feel like three is enough. I feel like maybe five would be better. Um, a little spaced out more than I would like, but I think the wreath came out absolutely beautiful. I just love the way it looks. And then I think I still am um, gonna use this and then I could just leave that just like that but I had this there before and I thought well we could just leave that in there. I think the gold just spruces it up a little bit and gives it a little bit more of that rustic charm that I love but oh just love all the details. For that particular year I decided to do a rustic fall vibe for the mantle.
I thought those um, shutters I actually got on the side of the road, I actually chopped them in half or cut them in half. And then I put hooks on the back and I thought those would be a great backdrop for my sign that I made, the pumpkin patch. It's quite large and I think it's beautiful. I did more of a whitewash look to it. And then I'm using these jars from Target Dollar Section. They do have them this year. And then of course I'm using my straw that I used also in the dining room. I really wanted to play up that harvest theme so I'm going to be using a ton of pumpkins for my decor because I wanted to use more creams and whites and like a darker burnt orange color and then I'm using these candlesticks you can get them anywhere these ones were actually from the Dollar Tree and I'm using them for to create different heights in the pumpkins because all of them are different sizes And then down here on the bottom, I decided to fill up my um, craftsman box with a ton of pumpkins and florals. And this gather sign is from Target Dollar Spot last year. I decided to pull out all the green and the creams to take that Walmart um, flower bunch that I bought cut them which I never do but I really wanted to kind of space them out and then I added some straw in there as well to create a little bit more of height and then I also added a cotton stem because it's obviously it's harvest season you know and I got this pumpkin pie spice sign from Michaels last year and then I'm just kind of figuring out where I want all my pumpkins and this thankful sign I made. So now I'm going to show you how I created my tablescape. It's really simple. I used everything that I had on hand and it's really inexpensive. The eucalyptus is from a Walmart. That is the best place I have found it. It's only $3 a stem. I like to fan them out a little bit. Um, and I also don't cut my stems if I don't have to. You can, but I just take the stems and then hide them underneath the other leaves. You can tie this if you need to, but I just left it loose. And then the two larger pumpkins are from Walmart and I spray painted them a creamy white. All you have to do is uh, tape off the stem part. The smaller one is from Target last year. And then I'm adding in these thrifted candlesticks in this copper color, which I am obsessed with right now. I think it's so pretty. I need to add more of it to my home. I added some candlesticks that I found at Walmart again. The wicker mats are, I think, from Ikea or Bed Bath & Beyond. You can find them lots of places. The plates are Pioneer Woman, which I got at Walmart. I have two different styles and I love the quality. They're so pretty. They're like a creamy white. So this napkin is from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond a few years ago, but I like the fringe detail on it. So instead of doing a normal napkin ring um, like folding, I wanted it to show. So I just kind of overlaid it in the middle and made it a little bit more on the square side. Now definitely make sure you remove your tags. And then the napkin rings are from Bed Bath & Beyond as well a couple years ago. And I just think it came together so nicely. I love the reflection out of the mirror. We have the living room and everything. And this space is definitely my favorite spot in the house. So hopefully you can recreate this. You can use whatever colors you would like to as always. But I just love the elegance of it, but yet the simplicity of it as well. I think I'm going to change my house over to more of the neutrals. I just think it's so pretty. And I hope that this is giving you lots of ideas on how you can decorate your home. Oh, I just love the mix here. And it's just, I'm really happy with it if you can't tell.
you've heard that all I do is obsess about you But if only you could see That we are meant to be But as you can see, I decided to use different colors for the living room here to decorate for fall using those purples and darker pinks with the whites and the creams and greens. I really liked the difference here, but I will show you later on how we're going to take the same space and transform it using traditional fall colors. So stay tuned for that. I hope you're enjoying these decorating ideas and getting lots of ideas of ways you can decorate for fall on a budget.
know that everything of course will be linked in the description box below along with lots of fall DIY videos as well. I have lots of Dollar Tree DIYs and regular DIYs for you. So definitely check that out if you want to learn how to make anything. I love to make different decor pieces for seasonal decor and it's just a way to save money but it's just so much fun to get crafty and everything and I will be sharing some more fall DIYs in the next video so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that. I'm not heading for the stars Driving down this boulevard tonight I have found these fiddle leaf trees from the at-home store. I've been finding so many goodies there. It's been fun to shop there. And I will say that these were a really good value. They're eight feet tall, so they add that extra height to the room, which I really appreciate. I just think they warm up the space a lot. It doesn't look so bare. The last thing I found was from Amazon, and it's this throw. They have a couple different colors, a really good price. They're very good in length. I think they'll cover almost a king foot bed, which is nice, but I just like the green in here. I just thought it was nice. You guys can let me know. I can always get rid of it, um, but I kind of like the texturing. I really like this fabric from Joann's, though. I got that almost two years ago now, but I really love the way the room has come out. I hope you have enjoyed coming decorating with me today and seeing how I transformed my living room for fall let me know what color choices you're doing for this fall season I decided to mix it up and go with non-traditional doing that dark fuchsia and plum color with the greens and the cream colors a little bit of pink and I just think it's really pretty you can let me know your thoughts but overall I am really happy with the way it turned out So now I'm going to transform the living room with traditional fall colors and share with you those decorating ideas. So I ended up taking the same tray, everything, a couple books. I removed the covers from a couple books just so that I wouldn't have too much writing on it. And I really liked that kind of leather look to the books here. And then I took some florals that are from Hobby Lobby. They're $5 a piece. You'll see those throughout the video. I I showed you earlier. Then I'm layering in pumpkins and just seeing how the colors can kind of coordinate and giving that more rustic look to the living space. And if you notice, the coffee table is different as well, which will totally change the look of the living room, which is really helpful. The leather pillows I made using faux leather from Walmart and then all the other pillows are from Walmart as well. And I think it ties into the theme of the house really, really well. So now we're gonna work on decorating the mantle for fall. So as you can see, the coffee table changed again. Same coffee table, but I actually lined it with a black 
uh, vinyl, which totally changed the look and I really liked it. I found these stems at Target along with the tray and I thought that they would look better in the vase than these um, ones that I had. They're a lot lighter toned and I was just going for a slightly moodier look for the living room and I'm really happy I did this. I'm hoping they bring back these uh, stems for fall. I'm not sure if they will, but I will try to link similar ones for you. Um, the stores have a couple options for you guys, but I really like the way this looks. So I get asked a lot where this table is from. It's from TJ Maxx. I went ahead and actually sprayed the top of it black. Um, it was a wood tone and I really like how sleek it looks black. The picture is from Kirkland's and then I went ahead and put in these rust color burnt leaves from Hobby Lobby. They're a really good deal, usually five bucks for a bundle. And then I'm adding in those um, Hobby Lobby wheat stems as well, just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. It looks way better in person. Sometimes the camera can play with the colors a little bit. And I just really like it with the dark trim in the house and everything, it looks beautiful. And then this little tiered pumpkin is actually from Dollar Tree. I just went ahead and made that. So I will leave some of those DIY videos linked down below for you. And then the pillows are actually a DIY as well. Those are made out of napkins from Target. So when it comes to fall and Christmas, I really want to decorate with layers and one of those ways is to use blankets. And when I went into Joann's this last week, I found some beautiful fall blankets and this really inspired the color for the season for me. I actually thought I was gonna do more neutrals, but I am so in love with this rusty brown orange color here. It's not a bright orange at all. It has a little pattern on it. You'll see it up close here soon. But I'm making a couple pillows. The fabric was 40 or 60% off, I can't remember, but either way, I got the fabric for $10 and I made two pillows. So $5 a pillow is a score for me, I love it. And I'm just making a basic pocket pillow here. I have a full video on how to make that in more detail. Totally hot glue this or use a fabric fuse tape, fabric tack, there's lots of options. pocket pillow is really easy because there's not much. I'm just going to put a seam down each of these ends and then I'm going to sew around the two other edges and it's done. So here is the finished pillow cover. I just need to do a little bit of ironing, but other than that, it's done. I'm just gonna put my pillow insert in. I actually like the down pillows that Ikea carries. I think they're six bucks an insert, which is an amazing price. And I like that because you can karate chop them and they just give that beautiful V shape in the pillow.
Now I'm going to decorate my end tables. I'm using this natural wood face that I have, this sprig that I've had for a couple years now. It's five dollars. You can find it at Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to start layering in a couple pumpkins because fall is nothing without pumpkins. And I've got a few from Dollar Tree. This velvet one is from there as well as the copper ceramic one. I'm going to set there on the table. And here I'm going to use the same floral sprig, but I'm going to add these pumpkin sprig that I got from Hobby Lobby as well. look. So this is a Christmas pillow that I had and I used my Cricut maker to put Hello Autumn on it and I actually doing an iron on vinyl for this one. So when you do an iron on vinyl you want to make sure you mirror the image when it cuts it. That way when you flip it over onto your pillow it'll actually read correctly. Let your project cool down completely before you remove the uh, plastic part of the vinyl and you're going to pull it off at an angle of course nice and slowly and it's done doesn't this look like we bought it from the store it's so high-end looking and you guys know I like getting the look for less bush wreath is oh my goodness I just love the coloring on it it really looks nice with the kind of burnt orange um, pillows and that like rusty brown color I don't know I just really like it so really good like this but I was also thinking maybe adding that one in there to contrast with it I don't know it kind of feels a little too full but at the same time I really like it so last year I bought these stems and I forgot I had them <laughs> I went out in my fall bin and I was like I thought I had something similar and they're way um, better of a color they're just red shirt and I like all the rust colors and the natural wheat color in here. These are so pretty. Um, they have just a plain version of it this year. I'll see if I can find these online for you. If I can't, I'll link them for you and everything. But I think I'm gonna add this to the bases and I think it'll just add that little extra pop of color that I want for fall. That's much better. So which fall decorating style did you like the best? Let me know down in the comments. You can find all the decor I shared in today's video linked in the description box below as well, along with more DIYs and fall decorating videos for this current year. I had a lot of fun putting this video together and seeing how my style has changed over the years and yet I'm still using a lot of the same decor pieces to decorate my home currently. I love switching things up, trying traditional and non-traditional colors, and hopefully you got lots of ideas and inspiration for ways that you can decorate your home for this fall. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and until next time, have you have a beautiful, blessed day. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me, and God bless. Mm -hmm.